Uh, hello. My name is Nathaniel Scott Kapensky, and I am the president and CEO of Lemonade Incorporated. Now, you may be wondering just what is Lemonade Incorporated? Well, I'll tell you. It's a company based on goodness. In today's troubled economy, one can't overlook the endless possibilities that lie ahead. New businesses yet to be explored. New avenues yet to be traversed. Which is why I created this documentary to show America, actually not America, the world, what entrepreneurship is all about. It's not just about hard work and getting to the job on time. It's about comfort, family, and a nice tall glass of everybody's favorite beverage, lemonade. And here at Lemonade Incorporated, that's just what we provide. to the camera. <laughs> I started Lemonade Incorporated several months ago. Having just turned 24 years old, I found myself lost and directionless. Even though I graduated from college with a degree in botany, I realized I really don't like plants that much. Wow, that's five years I'll never get back. So, here I was, sitting in the middle of my room here with nothing to do with the rest of my life. That's when my mother finally broke down and told me who my father really was. This is my mom, Lydia, and she's the coolest mom a little boy can ever ask for. <laughs> well, you're not my little boy anymore, Nathaniel. You're just old enough to move out of the house. Are you kidding me? I'll never leave you. Not for a million gazillion dollars. You know, a lot of people tell me that my mom's a MILF. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but whenever they say it, they have these really big smiles on their faces. So that must be a really cool thing. Thank you, Nathaniel. You're welcome. I always told myself I would never under any circumstance tell Nathaniel who his real father was. Children never want to know their parents make mistakes. Well, I made one. A big one. What did I tell him? I told him his father's a businessman named Michael Scott who lives in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and I refuse to tell him anything else. A businessman. Can you believe it? Not a rock star, not a baseball player, a businessman. Oh, holy God. I, I, I struck the mother load. Whatever that means. Well, upon hearing this wonderful news, I finally found my calling. I was going to follow in my father's footsteps and be a businessman myself. And that is how Lemonade Incorporated was born. So, pretty cool, huh? And this is where all the magic happens. Of course, it would be nicer if my employees showed up on time. <laughs> Kyle! Where have you been? It's 10 o'clock! Dude, stop yelling. I got a wicked headache, man. You're hungover again, aren't you? No. No, I'm, I'm just tired, that's all. You're hung over. And where's your tie? Go sit down. I'll go get you some water. You know, a lot of people ask me what it's like to work at home, and I tell them, it's okay. In this economy, one has to pull whatever resources one has in order to be successful. Bill Cosby. And how does it feel working at your mother's house? How does it feel working at my mom's house? She doesn't seem to mind. I mean, I'm usually conducting my business while she's at work anyway, so yeah, it's okay. Why, uh, has she sent anything? Is it weird working for my brother? Absolutely not. I mean... I'm happy to say that I've been consistently employed for a few months now. 
Mostly because he refuses to fire me. Hey, Uncle Felix! Nice of you to join us. That's right. I'm Nathaniel's Uncle Felix. After the market crashed in 2008, I was laid off from the Cheesecake Factory. Not the restaurant. A factory where we made cheesecake. Where is everybody? I, I don't know. I think yesterday they were talking about some sort of a party, but when I tried to, tried to get in on it, they just changed the subject. Oh, hey listen, I have to leave a bit early today. My son's flying in from Utah. Didn't you say you're hating your son for like being a deadbeat or something? No, not that one. The other one. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah. Okay, sure, not a problem. Do what you gotta do. Thanks, boss. So what did you do? I went looking for work. Lemonade Incorporated was the only business looking to hire. Lucky for me, it was owned by my nephew. Unfortunately, the interview process was very grueling. And what makes you think you'll be a good fit here at Lemonade Incorporated? Well, as you can see from my resume, I worked for the Cheesecake Factory for 20 years. I got promoted twice, and I managed over 40 people. Didn't you leave work for about a year or so? Yes. I had surgery to remove a brain tumor. Yeah, yeah, but still, for a year? Well, I had to recover. Okay, and uh, how are you feeling now? Oh, much better. Thanks. Hmm. That's what I like to see. Productivity. All right. I once read an article stating that 90% of all new businesses fail. Think about it. Really scary stuff, right? And here in the lemonade provider business, it's even more so. We're fighting an uphill battle here, people, and right now we're losing. Do you like being called a loser? Because I don't. I was called a loser back in high school, remember that? A and college and, and in preschool even. It hurts, it's unflattering, and I refuse to be called a loser in real life. Any questions? Okay, I will only call on you if, and I do mean if, you apologize for calling me a loser in high school. God damn it. Hey, Nathaniel. Hey, Jeanette, how are things going? Good. So, uh, have there been any calls from me or anything? No one called. Funny. I thought I might have heard the phone ring a while back. No, nope, wasn't here. Okay, well, in that case, have you seen Kyle anywhere? He was here like 20 minutes ago or so. I That's think he went outside. Right. Mm -hmm. It's Kyle's turn to be selling lemonade outside. It's kind of our way to expand business. We're taking lemonade to the masses. <laughs> No, I said I wanted an ounce, Jerry. An ounce. What the hell's a kilo? Yeah? Uh, could you put that on my credit card, man? What the hell is that? Oh, uh, my brother's coming. I'll talk to you later, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. Don't give me nothing. You were on your cell phone while you were supposed to be working. But what do you want me to do? There's no one around. Who am I supposed to sell to? Damn it, Kyle. You are my number one. You have to go out there and bring the customers to you. The giant magnet or something? You got one of those, huh? Don't be stupid, Kyle. You know those things don't exist. I looked it up. I'll be honest. Kyle... Kyle's an idiot. But he's also my brother. I can't fire family. Sorry. And you also can't sleep with the boss. Those are my two rules. Except if, uh, you're really hot. But that's my only exception. Kyle, here comes the customer right now. Come on, go get him! Oh. Uh, lemonade, sir? Lemonade? Oh, that's right. See, nobody wants to buy, man. You gotta be kidding me. Go after him! Don't let him get away! Get throw that man some lemonade, damn it! Get back here! You know you want this! Come on! Now that's how you sell lemonade. 